This is a canoe project that started like two years ago and never ended up finishing it. You know how boat projects go, they're just a lot of dreams. But today I am determined to finish this dream. Um, this canoe is not like any other canoe. Well, probably it is, it's like a flat transom canoe. But originally it was a free canoe that had a lot of damage and I started fixing it up. I literally just took a skill saw and just cut it. Just put it right to the edge, traced a line, it was just like Rrr. It's almost done, it needs just like a little bit more work, like probably two more layers of fiberglassing, a bit of sanding and paint, and it should be good to go. Basically built out the rails with spray foam, put a uh, plywood transom on. This is all spray foam here, pretty thick layers, probably needs just like one more. Uh, yeah, just needs a good sand and paint, and it should be good to go. Kind of sucks, I had these high spots here. I kind of sent it right to the glass. I'm just gonna have to fill it before I put my next layer on, really. I'm gonna be so itchy. I already am. Now I know why I didn't finish this. That's a lot of sanding. Normally I don't use Bondo on projects, but I got a lot of holes I wanna fill quickly and just get it done with, so I'm just gonna slap it on and then throw a layer of glass over top. Call it a day. Got the uh, final layer of Skimco Bondo on there. It's done quite nicely. I gotta sand it out. I have a 2x4 that I um, I nailed or screwed a uh, big old industrial belt to. It's a big block sander, really. Oh, so I was using a lot of leftover resin that was uh, pretty old. As I was pouring it out, there's a little bit of clumps inside of it, so it was already kind of curing and setting off without the catalyst. Um, I should have put a lot less catalyst in on that second one just because it was already setting and on its way out. Um, I didn't get nearly as much work time as the other side, but um, I don't know, I kind of stuck down the glass half ass, so I'm gonna have to go run to the store. <laughs> All right, so it was a good productive day. I got the whole bottom of the hull fiberglassed. Um, I made a total mess of kind of my glassing job, myself, and everything else. So I'm just gonna quickly clean up and let this set up for the night. And tomorrow I will do more fiberglassing. I find different polyester resins and stuff of that all affect differently, especially with the temperature, that's a known fact. So I just sort of guess. I just put a bunch of drops in. I look at it, I go, ah. Unfortunately, with that last bit of resin, I um, let it sit for like two years, I think, in my shop. And it's just been slowly curing. Even without the catalyst, the uh, polyester resin, I find, tends to just slowly cure after time. So I ended up using up all my extra cans and having to buy more. So now I got to get rid of a, another full can. So it sucks this is cured, I didn't give use it, but I'm not gonna waste it. I have this little project that's been going on for a few years now. Um, it's a bit of an art piece actually. I've um, been taking all the leftover scraps from inside of the mixed containers or if stuff sets up prematurely. Not really sure where this needs to go, but I'll definitely find a place. I'm adding to the, yeah. So it's gotta uh, take the spray foam off here. I gotta shave this foam down and then five glass over top and this thing looks good to go. The seat right here was uh, also kind of one of the bulkheads here that was holding this hull together. Um, I guess when this canoe fell off the van it uh, I guess when this canoe fell off the truck, 
it um, just buckled this entire side. So it ripped this right off here. So I gotta re-glass this back on here and just kind of put a layer on top there just to reinforce it a bit.